morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse today from John chapter 15 and it's verse 9, please. It says this, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. As the Father loved me, so I love you. Isn't those words incredible? Continue we in my love. And the simple heading for this morning's thought is the love of God. The love of God. Can your mind take this wonderful eternal truth in this morning? Can you believe it? That this truth that we've just read, as the Father loved his Son, it is the same way that Jesus loves his people. That's you and me today. So how does the Father love? God's word shows us that his love was without beginning. And so he loves us too. Before the foundation of the world, he loved you and he loved me. I have loved you, God's word says, with an everlasting love. You see, you can trace the beginning of human love. But praise be to God this morning, there is no beginning to the love of God. There is no ending to the love of God. His love is eternal. You can trace the beginning of human love and sad to say, very often, you can trace the end of that human love when terrible things take place. But I want to tell you, friends, that Jesus' love is constant and eternal. You see, God the Father loves Jesus without any change. And you and I can take comfort today and rest in the fact that Jesus, the divine Son of God, loves us in the very same way. His love never changes. Never mind who we are, what we've done, where we are going, he loves us all the same. In spite of all our failings and our faults, his love remains the same. Whether in the valley or on the mountaintop, his love remains. Whether in the storms or going through the fiery furnace, his love is the same. Even when we go through the valley of the shadow of death, still his love will be with us and take us all the way into heaven to be with Christ for all eternity. You see, we must not allow Satan to rob us of these great truths that we read in God's word and great truths that we experience in our own heart, that the same immeasurable love of God, the same immeasurable love that God had for his son, Christ has for you and for me. And it cannot change. The heart of Christ is dedicated to his people. He loved us, God's word says, and he gave himself for us. His love passes knowledge. Yes, we sing the hymns about his love, but God help us to, be, uh, to experience the truth in our heart of his love. The hymnist says, love beyond all human comprehension. Loving God in Christ, how can it be? This will be my theme and never ending. Great redeeming love of Calvary. Isn't the love of Jesus something wonderful? You see, Satan through men have tried to stop God's people singing these great hymns, but he cannot stop us experiencing the truth of God's word, that he loved us and that he gave himself for us. How excited it is today that God the Father loves his Son without measure, and we too can know that same immeasurable love through Christ Jesus, the divine Son of God. He bestows it upon his children. Let me quote you another hymn in closing. Loved with everlasting love, led by grace, this love to know spirit breathing from above, thou hast taught me it is so. All oh, this full and perfect peace, all oh, this transport, all divine, in a love which cannot cease, I am his, and he is mine. With a love that cannot cease, I am his, and he is mine. And if that doesn't brighten your day, friends, today, then you are dead to his grace, you are dead to his mercy, and you're dead to his love. I thank God for those of us who know him. This will strengthen us and encourage us throughout this day. Consider today the love of God, the unchangeable love of God. God bless you, and I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.